Would you want your child's teacher to carry a gun? Wait until you hear what they're thinking about doing in one school district in North Idaho. School leaders across Washington and Idaho want to keep your kids safe at school. They're looking for answers. Some of them are controversial. KXY4's Ariana Lake working for you from North Idaho, where she spoke with a school administrator who says teachers with guns aren't the answer to this issue, but it may be in part teachers with wasp spray. Ariana? Yeah, so there's a lot to unpack here. I am here in uh, Rathdrum. The superintendent, assistant superintendent I spoke with says school leaders here are doing everything that they can to keep students safe and prevent a school shooting from happening at any of the 11 schools in this district. That's why they say armed guards actually might be a reasonable option they're looking into, along with increasing mental health programs. Parents are having some tough conversations with their kids right now. I've talked to her quite a bit about it. In Rathdrum, John Brown Elementary School mother Courtney Coy talked to her first grade daughter about school safety this morning. I asked my daughter this morning what she thought, um, if how she would feel about teachers carrying guns. Do you think that they should? And she says no. So <laughs> she's not too fond about it. And neither is Coy. It blows my mind that we'd even be considering it. Here at the Lakeland Joint School District, Assistant Superintendent Lisa Sexton says arming teachers isn't the answer. But she says the district is considering hiring armed guards. If we're going to hire somebody who's going to carry a gun, we'd rather have that be somebody who's highly trained, whose job is solely protection who can train with our local law enforcement. And for the teachers, they're looking into equipping them with non-lethal weapons. We can't have pepper spray, but we can have wasp spray, and if you can get it in their eyes, they can't see, and you, you incapacitate them. But Sexton says the best prevention is offering mental health services to kids who need it. We're really looking at how do we bring this community together and, and embrace our kids and start to recognize when they're hurting so that we can intervene. Sexton says they are working on a new mental health partnership here that might go into effect by the upcoming fall. That would make this school district among the first to have school-based mental health programs. Reporting from Rathdrum, Ariana Lake, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Ariana.